Hey y'all, Mr. Unigon here, and thank you all for enjoying my shorts. I didn't expect those stupid Halloween decorations to blow up, but they did. So, <laughs> stay tuned for next year, there's going to be a lot more stuff. So, I've had a couple plans. If you didn't hear already, my... Mystic's Wheel of Randomness, which will have Q&A stuff, Karen stuff, quotes, pet peeves, that kind of stuff. There's been, I need your help on one thing. Like, I'm extremely grateful and surprised that I am literally four subscribers away from 500. Again. So yeah, I've reached the 500 mark before, and I had like 501, and it didn't stay there, obviously, because I went, I went down to like, I want to say four, or 469 or something like that, when I took a break, and then it's kind of just been an up and down, like, roller coaster of randomness because my videos have also been an up and down roller coaster of randomness. Um, I will definitely keep consistent next year and with that a new tr uh, channel trailer that I'll be working on. So I'm trying to think of shorts that can actually get monetized. And I'm thinking what's adult themed, right? That I can do. And it sucks because I have kid-friendly stuff that I want to do, but at the same time I want to do adult-friendly stuff with that stuff that's actually a toy. I have this... If you've all seen the TikTok, I guess it went viral, of the guy taking that hand puppet rubbery plastic dragon that you buy at Walmart in like the novelty section, stuck it on his truck tailpipe, turned it on, and it made a big bubble of it. I bought one of those. In fact, I bought all three colors of those dragons. And I bought another dragon off of Amazon that's more realistic looking. So, like, part of me wants to make adult-themed videos with those, but I don't know if I'll get in trouble for that because they are technically a toy. I just, I don't know. I don't know how all that works. So if anybody can answer that in the comments, please let me know. Because I really want to make adult stuff with them, but I also kind of want to make kid stuff with them at the same time. So I don't know if that's a good idea, but like, if you work in Walmart, more specifically OPD, which is the online uh, shopping category. You know that we have stickers for if we have to make a substitution for something that somebody orders and it's not there and they want such and such substituted, we put that sticker on the bag so they know, oh, okay, it's a substitution for what I originally ordered because they couldn't, you know, find or didn't have what I wanted. There's also stickers for heavy and fragile. I think that's it. I think it's those three mainly that people use. And those stickers are the colors of the dragons. Because, like, one dragon's blue, so the old stickers for heavy are blue. The newer ones are yellow, which, I, whatever. I guess it kind of works because the totes are blue. Um, and then the fragile ones are red. And the substitution ones are green. Because one of the dragons is green and one of the dragons is red. And the other one's blue. Now the one I got from Amazon is more natural dragon color, like brownish, sort of. Um, I wanted to put those stickers on them and make adult-themed Walmart skits. But I'm not very good at writing skits. But I also wanted to take them and do funny skits for kids. 
So I'm like really torn on this. So I don't know if I can make the adult stuff. I guess if I did, it would have to just be on TikTok. I don't think I could put it on YouTube. But then I also don't want to get famous for this stupid shit. And then kids finding out that I'm making adult content with the same toys on a different platform. So yeah, I'm fucking torn. And it's frustrating. But I also have my lamb chop puppet. I will make kid fr friendly videos with her. Because I do have some ideas. And Lamb Chop is a nostalgic toy. I don't want to ever do anything adult with her. And I'm never going to make her have a voice because I can't imitate Sherry Lewis's Lamb Chop voice. I mean, I guess if I tried, but I would... I feel guilty trying to imitate a voice of somebody who's no longer with us. I'm not... Like, I'm not sure that that would bother her by any means, but, like, I just don't want to do that. I'd rather make it that she only whispers in my ear. And then I can make her nod and whatever, because I just, I don't feel right doing that, if that makes sense. So, I will try to make videos with Lamb Chop, specifically for kids. I can not promise how often they'll be, but... I'll try. Anyway, the dragons, I'm not sure. I really want to do the Walmart stuff. And I do want to make a Walmart playlist. Because obviously, that's going to be pretty much adult themed anyway. But I could maybe do kids stuff with the three dragons from Walmart. And then this the the Amazon one since it's kind of scary looking I can do like I'll probably do a scary uh, Halloween one in there so yeah you'll see that um anywho I don't want to ramble this too long because I still gotta finish getting ready for work packing my lunch but yeah I need your guys help also if I can if I can hit the 500 subscriber mark by the new year that'll be amazing that'll be an amazing way to start my new year uh of content creation no update on the long video of being treated like an outcast still on hold haven't done anything else with it um that might that might just have to wait till next year because i've not heard anything from my friend who's gonna make my thumbnail and so yeah that's and like I said I will still do random videos of other things like there will be longer mystic munchies and just other vlog stuff like this also remember my goal still on twitch oh yeah one of the things I'm gonna be doing on here as shorts, my experiences playing World of Warcraft. Because streaming it does not bring anything doing it here. It's been going decent on Twitch, so that's where it's well that's where streaming is gonna stay. I'm not gonna stream here. I may upload Minecraft streams if I do them, if I even get into them again, which I probably will eventually. Just right now with Wrath Classic being a thing, I want to keep rolling with it because it's fun and I'm enjoying it and it's relaxing to me. But there will be World of Warcraft short series coming and I'll probably do the intro now-ish so that that gives everyone something to be prepped for if they're a World of Warcraft nerd like myself. Um, so yeah, there's that. So yeah, and Twitch, I'm like five followers away from 400, so if you watch any Twitch streamers, come hang out. Yes, it's mainly World of Warcraft, but as my motto is the focus should be on the streamer 
and their vibe and their mental health and all that good stuff rather than the content. Just saying. I get tired of the whole, oh, I'm not watching them because they play this. Why does that matter? What if they do have other games that they like, <coughs> but they don't have motivation to play because no one ever shows up? Ooh, that's pretty much me. I have a ton of other games. And if y'all want, I can list all those games in a short. I won't play them unless I'm inspired by my chat to play them and stream them. They ain't happening. Just saying. I will not just randomly stream a game hoping somebody will show up. Because I've tried that before. And that put me in some severe depression and wanting to quit. So I'll list my games. I'll make a short list of all the games I have. In fact, I can show my Steam account. Well, I don't know because some of them are on my other accounts too. But if you want me to stream them, you got to be there because it ain't happening otherwise. I will not stream. And most of my streams get no, no viewers anyway, so. Until a little further in, so it's like, if you want to see it, you gotta be there. Just saying. Anyway, gotta go. Love y'all. Have a good one. I know life is rough right now. You got this. Praying for y'all. Keep strong. And thank you for almost 500 subscribers.